Because you know I'm all about the most, about the most, no trouble. I'm all about the most, about the most, no trouble. I'm all about the most, about the most, no trouble. I'm all about the most, about the most. Ha! I'm bringing beauty back. Well, the audience out there that watches my gardening videos already knows I'm a little cray cray. So I thought for 2023, the first video here, I'd let my crafters know. Uh, yeah, the real me. I am a little crazy. This first project is going to be what I term the love box. It's really just a keepsake box, a jewelry box, whatever you want to put in it for Valentine's, although I think it would just be beautiful just to sit out all year. I bought this round box at Hobby Lobby. I wanted to paint the interior of it a black brown color so I mixed one using a brown and black chalk paint. With raw wood I like to use gesso especially if I'm going to be decoupaging something on which I will be doing. Well, with this project, it is definitely all about the molds. Here, the first one I'm using is IOD Trimmings 2. And rather than using clay, I am using Amazing Casting Resin that cures in about 10 minutes. And the purpose of using the resin over the clay is because of this particular application thingy that I'm going to be making. I need it to be extremely strong and not break over time. You see what I'm going to try to do here is create some little bun feet. I looked at bun feet for jewelry boxes and the only place I could really find them was Amazon and for a set of four they wanted like I don't know it was over seven dollars and I thought okay this is ridiculous this is just going to increase the cost of the box. So instead I'm going to try to make mine. I will let you watch and see what I'm doing here. We'll come back to the bun feet later on in the project. Now moving on to the box. I have measured the circumference of the box and it is 18 and maybe a quarter inches. Uh, the height there of the bottom section of the box is three inches. I'm going to be using two different papers on the sides of the box. So this paper is actually just paper studio from hobby lobby and then i'll be using a rice paper also six sections three of each type of paper so again i'll just let you watch listen to some jazz music 
and see how I decoupage all these pieces on. Here comes mold number two. It is a silicone mold from Amazon. I believe it's really supposed to be used for cake or fondant, but I use it for air dry clay. And I am using the hardy soft clay for the majority of this project. Um, I have shown in the past in videos when I want to do a long bead or long section of trim how I do that. I did not show you on this particular rope trim, however, I will show you on another piece of trim later on. But I'm having to mold several pieces now for what I'm about to do and glue on with Tight Bond Quick and Thick.
we are back to the bun feet for a moment. I want to interject here. If I didn't already have all the products that you're about to see me use, I would have just bought the bun feet from Amazon. But I also wanted to see if I could make this work. So a challenge is part of why I like crafting. So what I ended up doing with these things was I left them on my paint brushes uh, to keep their shape while they totally cured. But my paint brushes, I don't know about you guys, but if I leave them in water too long, the, the coating on the brush uh, handle starts to come off. And so that's what you see me scraping off of the interior of these. Now, I could just paint these and glue them onto the bottom, but to me that could break off easily and whoever purchases this box, I don't want them to have an issue. So what I'm going to do is create my own silicone mold, which I'm doing right here using cornstarch and 100% silicone. And I'm going to leave an impression. Uh, I thought about using like a nickel or a quarter, but I'd have to go back upstairs to have gotten one of those. So I just found something that I could use, which was the tip of uh, that little paint jar. Silicone bonds to silicone. So what I'm going to do is make a mold like a flat disc and then eventually once the mold dries enough in about half hour I'll be able to pour some resin. I may have said silicone bonds to silicone. I meant resin bonds to resin. So I will pour resin in the little cavities and while the resin is setting up I will put my little button bun knob into the wet resin so that it will attach itself. Then I'll have a flat disc on the very top that I can drill a hole in the middle and screw it and glue it to the bottom of my jewelry box. So I'll just let you watch.
Thank you.